Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about zinc deficiency. Now, what is zinc? Zinc is a trace mineral. It's basically a mineral that's needed in a lot smaller amounts, but it's necessary because if you're deficient, you're going to have a lot of different issues. Number one, your sense of smell will go away. Your sense of taste will not be there. You won't actually be as hungry. Those are some common symptoms. White spots on the nails. You got these little uh, spots in the nail. But, but usually what happened is that you ate a lot of carbohydrate that depleted the zinc because too much sugar or carbohydrate will pull zinc out of your body. So if you had a little white speck on the middle of your nail, and by the way, the nail grows every six months, we know about three months ago you had a birthday party and you ate the whole cake, right? So that's one way of determining that. Okay, now we have acne, skin issues, eczema, all these skin issues, dermatitis, could be related to zinc. But there's other things that can cause skin issues too that almost mimic a zinc deficiency, like a vitamin A deficiency or a vitamin B2 or B6 deficiency. So really you have to look at all of these things to see what it is. But I will say that if you're low in zinc, you can't absorb or utilize vitamin A. So they always work to be, uh, together with, like minerals work with vitamins together. And zinc is kind of like a a main uh, mineral that's used in over 300 enzymes. So it's in a lot of chemical body reactions, okay? So with proteins, and that brings us to this one down here with hair, alopecia, which is like little spots of hair growth that's gone or thinning hair. That could be a B vitamin deficiency like biotin, but it can also be a zinc deficiency as well. They work together, okay? Then we have rhinoviruses. Well, zinc being a trace mineral, helps put uh, viruses back in remission. Now the thing about viruses, you can't kill a virus because it's not alive. It's a piece of genetic material that's wrapped in a sac that can activate your own energy from your cells and create a cascade of an immune response. So zinc is one that's specific to actually keep the rhinovirus in check. And actually it can, if you take zinc, when you're starting to get sick, it can s speed up the time of overcoming the sickness and actually can prevent that issue as well. But rhinoviruses like the one that you have the post-nasal drip, the sinus congestion, the sore throat, the sneezing, um, so you need more um, zinc, all right? And then we have lower testosterone, both in male and female. If you have low testosterone, your libido will be very low, okay? That can come from a zinc deficiency. Um, and then mouth ulcers. Again, that can come from other things, but that little um, sore on the inside of the mouth, which is usually virus related, the viruses like herpes, it can come out of remission if you're under stress and because the zinc becomes deficient. So sugar and stress will deplete the zinc reserves, okay? Because more cortisol pumps out and then it needs zinc to, to use the, for the immune system and then basically you deplete your zinc reserves. So it's involved in a lot of different enzymes. Um, now it's in oysters that has a lot of zinc um, from the sea, of course. And then we, it's in uh, animal like beef, it's in pork, it's in red meat, it's also in sea kelp. It's in a lot of foods, but it's really high in these foods right here. And also zinc actually helps make the red, uh, white blood cell. So the adrenal gland uh, controls the white blood cell. It suppresses the immune system, and, that's, uh, and zinc is involved in that whole process. So we have a relationship between countering stress, having the trace minerals to make sure that your immune system is strong, okay? So here are just, and lastly, I wanna talk about um, in other countries, like not in America, but third world countries, a lot of children and infants will die because of a zinc deficiency because they have diarrhea. And so, you know, zinc is, unfortunately, they don't put it back in the soils. So it could be a factor of, it's either not in your food because it's not in the soil, it could be you're trying to get your zinc from grains, but not if there's uh, a certain inhibitor for zinc and other minerals called phytic acid in grains. So that chemical in the grain naturally prevents the absorption of minerals, okay? And then also, your, if your stomach acid is not strong enough, you're not gonna pull that acid in too. So if you have heartburn, you have GERD, indigestion, chances are you're zinc deficient just from that alone, okay? So there's a lot of different aspects of zinc. I wanted to cover uh, some of them, but there's a lot more. 
but i hope this helped and i will see you in the next video.